Hey guys, Stefan van Jarsveld here with fxhippo.com. Let's look at a quick tutorial number two. Um, you might have seen this little scene already in our advanced rotoscoping with Mocha tutorial. So what I'm going to do is talk about how to get that nifty 3D looking text using Cinema 4D and parenting that text with the tracking data that we got out of Mocha in the advanced uh, in the advanced rotoscoping tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and make that text in Cinema 4D. So open up Cinema 4D. So come up here to the spline selection, hold down the, the left mouse button, and select text. So there we have some text. So in the text field down here, right, um, let's make it FX Hippo this time. All right. And select your font. Let's just make it Helvetica. It's always good. All right. Now, if you press the render view up here, you'll see that nothing renders. So we need to extrude the text. So come up here to um, NURBS and choose Extrude NURBS. Place the text inside the extrude NURB. The arrow is pointing down. All right. So now if you put it into render view, you'll see that it shows up. Okay, so click on the extrude nerves and we can adjust the depth of the text. Um, you can go crazy, whatever you want to do. Woo. Anyway, keep those two at zero and the Z depth. You can adjust as much as you want. All right, and then you have to sort of approximate where you're going to have this in your scene. So, uh, let's make that a bit longer, fxhippo.com. Cool. Render view. Okay, we can't really see it's 3D because there's no light. So let's add some light. Let's come up here to the lights and choose just normal light. Uh, using, all right, so grab the Z axis and just move it in front of the text. And then make another light and move it above the text. Okay. Now if I press render view, there's a bit more depth because there's light. All right, let's make that even deeper. So let's click on extrude nerves again and just play with the Z depth. Okay. Yeah, cool. So now we just have to sort of uh, make an approximation. If you go back and forth between After Effects and Cinema 4D, make sort of a, a um, approximation of the angle, because we're not actually exporting a 3D object into After Effects, we're exporting a 2D image with 3D text on it. So it's a bit of an illusion, but it works. Um, Tilt it down a bit. I think that'll work. Okay. So what you want to do now is come up here to render settings. I'm going to do a full render. Come to output. We're going to do a uh, film. We're going to do a 1080p. So 1080, 25. Make it 19, 20. All right, um, that should be good. Come to save and select a TIFF is good. Uh, save destination, 3D FX Hippo, save. All right, and include the alpha channel. This is important because that gives you a nice clean cut of the text from the background. Okay, so now we're ready to export. So it's gonna export as one frame and if you go to output, you'll see here, current frame. The frame range is the current frame. Okay, so come up here to the uh, render in picture viewer option. And this renders your image and saves it. Done. All right, so let's, um, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is saved. So here, there's our text. 
Looks a bit squished, but we can adjust that in After Effects. So let's go back into After Effects. Uh, right click, Import File, uh, 3D FX Hippo. Open. Um, in CS5, this new little window comes up. Just say straight unmatted. All good. Okay. All right. So just drag that um, under your Lighthouse window layer. So let's just delete the old layers of 3D Newcastle and the shadow. Okay. Um, just press S for scale and just decrease that a bit. Okay. Cool. So what you want to do is pair that to the BG fence track that we did in the previous tutorial. And if you play that back, and you'll see that the text is tracked to the background. And it gives the illusion 3D text effect that you uh, could see on TV these days with like, with the TV show uh, Fringe uses it a lot. All right, so it'll probably be a bit more re realistic if that text has some shadow. So let's zoom in, go layer, new, solid, make it a black solid, okay. Um, bring that down underneath the text that we just had, the 3D FX Hippo text. Turn off the black solid and rename it 3D Text Shadow. Okay. So we can't see it right now because it's invisible, but we're going to make an approximation of where the shadow would be. So using the pen tool and the roto bezier, we come down here and just create a rounded shape. All right, so go ahead and turn on black solid again. Cool. Press F for feather. And just increase the feather and turn off the view uh, view mask shape path okay so it looks pretty cool it's a bit too harsh so on that layer press T for opacity and break down the opacity okay and then parent that to the null object the BG fence track as well all right so if we have a look at that It looks pretty cool. All right, so that that's it for this quick tutorial. I just told you guys how to make some uh, some extruded text in Cinema 4D, export it as an alpha image, um, bring it back into After Effects as a clean cut image um, to give the illusion of true 3D tracked text in an image. All right, guys, that's it. See ya.